Car for home. Got my receipt. Ching, ching, ching. For all of this. Wait, no. So I got some bread, whole wheat bread. I got a baguette, some mushrooms, mm -hmm. a pepper, a red pepper, some these coconut breakfast bars that Dan recommended. Swatch it, swatch it. Can you see it? Is it focused? Here we go. Hey. <laughs> um, I got some disinfectant wipes. So got gotta be clean. Don't want any diseases. <laughs> some eggs. Um, some couscous. Mm, my addiction. Um, some carrots. Health queen. Some potatoes. Um, it's kind of smashed up lettuce now. Cherry, uh, cherry uh, confit uh, jam. Some spicy sauce. That nothing is spicy in France, so this is a this is a specialty and rare. So hopefully it's good. And oranges. Comment down below how much you think this costs. I forgot to weigh my oranges and so when I was like checking out, self-checkout, there was no orange button so I just had to put grapefruit and then one of the workers came over and was talking to me and they were just like, just set your stuff down. I'm like, okay. But then I just put grapefruits instead of the oranges. So these, the grapefruit was more expensive than the oranges. So I think it would actually have been 15 euros instead of 17, but it's fine. Okay, is my face in there? Oh uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so we went grocery shopping with Nate uh, at this beautiful store, Gafo, and this is what I got. Um, most of the stuff I bought is pretty unhealthy. I, I apologize for that. Well, Yeah. Mandarins. Which are just small orange. Oh my god, those are so unhealthy. No, this is the healthiest stuff. The only healthy thing that Den buys the, the, Yeah, because then I got chips. Just a snack. I actually prefer uh, like normal chips with, with no flavor, but I like when it's uh, um, super crunchy. It, it's, that's what it says, cut from crunchy, crispy. Did you know that in the UK they call chips crisps? That is so weird. I'm sorry if you're British and you're watching this. Then I got peppers. This was only one euro and a half for, for three <laughs> sorts of peppers. I should have bought three instead of just one. I know. You didn't tell me, you just let me buy one single pepper. I don't know, but... <laughs> it's fine. What happened? Happened. And then this. This is for breakfast. I've never had these, so I'll, I'll tell you what I think about these. Probably, well, probably not because you forget. <laughs> I'll forget, and uh, we don't have that kind of section on my channel just yet. Dan's a kid. Yeah, this is for kids. I was like, why is this for kids? I want to try it because usually, like, the stuff for kids it tends to be healthier, right? But I'm not sure if this is the case. Uh, just, just you know, probably the pictures are cute. Then my all-time favorite, I have these all the time when I go to Gafo, so the last time was like three months ago. <laughs> but these are really good, like 
it says uh, organic and stuff. The, the pictures are really beautiful. Like it, it looks clean and nice and green. But just remember that these are like normal chocolate bars. Don't expect anything from them. Just just your normal chocolate bars with coconut. And um, honestly, my perception of healthiness is I, I just look at the ingredients and um, the longer the list, the, the worse the product is because for me there's uh, like a difference between products and the actual food. Like the real food, the actual food is just this, just the peppers, no ingredients in them, just, just peppers or um, oranges, whatever, fruit, you see, or uh, milk. You see, this is like real food, but when you've got like, just just look at that, just look at that. Like 50 ingredients, it's like not real food, it's just a product. Carrots. I don't know. They, they're, they're really huge carrots because they're very cheap, they're not organic or anything. But they're still carrots, like when you're a student, you don't really care. You just want them to cost like 30 cents, okay? I also got uh, fromage blanc. Well, some of you may be wondering what fromage blanc is. It's basically yogurt with no um, additional flavor, but the texture is thicker and uh, it got more protein in it. So uh, the yeah the texture is rich compared to um, like normal yogurt, but the, the taste is pretty much the same. Yeah, I accidentally bought this before because I read it wrong. It's basically like yogurt but thicker, just like done the same. It's a very easy mistake to make for the Americans. Thanks, just, Dan. Thank it, you. But my viewers are no smart. Mm, they're not smart are now smarter Oh, now smart. Mm. after watching this video. Like this video if you learn something new. And the last but not least is hamburger cheese. I know this is like, this looks so gross in the picture, but I actually use these just for normal sandwiches or like with, you know, like mm, just plain cheese. You know, like not not to have with wine or anything, not not French cheese, just like your normal American style cheese. I, I just need that sometimes, okay? I don't even like that kind of cheese. It's good when you melt it, like in the microwave. Mm -hmm. I don't, no, in the US I don't like craft singles. That's basically what those are. I don't like them. Well, if you say so, but um, but it, then like it's, it's yeah, we actually use the same kind of cheese, or like very similar to make this French sandwich, le croque monsieur. Uh, it's basically like a, a hot sandwich with cheese and ham. So it's really good. It was really cheap, like not even a euro. So um, that's why I bought it. And that's it. How much do you think that was? Thanks for trying to break my table. Your table is already broken. Like, there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, this is. It, it's not in there. Put it away. So, this is actually not what I normally buy. Like, I buy similar stuff, but I don't go to Carrefour. It's like, it's a good one, but it's a little bit more expensive. There is a cheaper one, and I'll talk to you about that um, in another video. Um, we just went to car for because it's next to my apartment. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I didn't buy pasta, I didn't buy, uh, like, a lot. This is definitely not what I eat during the week. It's just, yeah. like, to have a snack. Didn't saw uh, that I bought carrots. Then saw that I bought some peppers, so he wanted to be healthy like me. Yeah, but usually I'm not okay. Maybe yes. Yeah, so we'll, we'll talk about that another time, okay? Now, this, all of that was 
Drumroll, please. 12 euro. I'm say that again. 12 euro. Euro or euros? Don't know. <laughs> Probably your eyes. I don't even know what I say. You say both. I say both. Yeah, you say like when you're lazy, it's like euro. Mm -hmm. Because in French, it doesn't really matter because we, say we don't know, pronounce our uh, final um, consonants. No, you don't, or they don't ever pronounce S's ever, at the end. Ever. So I just, if I'm lazy, I'll just say euro. Euro. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, now we're time to cook. We're hungry, um, like always. <laughs> it got really dark outside. Oh my well, gosh. This is my view. You don't have to put that in there, just in case, but if you want to put that, you can, but you, you're in the blue for a section. In the blue for a section, yeah, sure. Sure, if it's good enough for the blue. 